Okay, let's take a look at question two from homework number 14. Um, I'm going to do a few questions from this section uh, that cover the different things that you might be asked dealing with this formula here, but let's make sure that we understand the formula. You got this formula in class, you talked about it in lecture, it's on the Moodle notes, uh, but what does it mean? That's really the important part. So the A here, in very non-mathematical terms, is just the amount at the end of whatever time period we're talking about. So if they, uh, if they say, after a certain number of years, what is the amount, or they give you an amount after a certain number of years, that's what goes in for this A. Uh, P here, that's the principal, that's just the amount at the beginning. That's the starting deposit in a bank account. That's the amount of money somebody was making at a specific time in the past. Basically, that's the starting amount. E is the same E that we've seen when we were talking about the natural log. And E, that's a number. It's a button on your calculator. And so anytime you see that E um, and you need to use it on your calculator, you just punch in the E button and it will fill in that number. R is the interest rate or the, uh, you know, it could be an inflation rate. It's some kind of rate and they're going to give that to you in your questions. And T is time in years. Okay, so this is, this is our formula here that we're working with. So where do we find these pieces in our question? What I did is I used just colored squares to highlight where it is in the formula and where it is in the word problem. So we've got amount at the end, this A here. Well, they're saying here that he's got $10,000 on deposit today. You might read that and think, well, that's what we're starting with because today is now and we're starting with today. But the question that they're asking isn't um, this isn't the initial amount that we start with they're saying that he deposited something a while ago actually three years ago and this is the amount that he's ended up with today so this is the amount at the end you got to have a little bit of common sense while you're reading these to make sure that you're plugging things in the right place so this is the amount at the end uh, p the amount at the beginning they actually don't give that to us that's the thing we're going to be looking for when we solve this formula so what was his initial deposit? Initial, that's the amount at the beginning, that's P. So that's something we don't know. Again, we know what E is, that's the button on your calculator. Um, R, the rate, the interest rate, we've got an interest rate right here. It says 8%. Be very careful. I'm going to warn you about this now, I will warn you about it later, and I will keep warning about it every time we see it in one of these questions. The interest rate here says 8%. You are going to want to plug in an 8 there, and you are going to be absolutely wrong. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. 8% is 8 divided by 100, so it's going to be 0 0.08. So when it comes time to plug in those percentages, those interest rates, make sure that if it's a percent, that you're dividing by 100 before you plug it in. And then time in years, well, they'll tell, they're telling us he deposited this three years ago. So we've got that three right there in our question. So basically, we've got everything we need in this formula except for P. So what do we do? Plug in everything we know and then solve it for P. So we knew that A was 10000 That was the $10,000 that he has on deposit right now. That's the ending amount. P, we don't know. E is always going to be the same. It's that same E. Uh, we had our, our rate here. That was the 0 0.08. Remember when I said up here, it looks like 8. Don't put in 8. That's 8 over 100, which is 0 0.08. So I plugged in the 0 0.08 for my rate. And T time, that was 3 years ago. So I plugged in a 3. And now I just solved. So I've got 10,000 equals P times E. Well, I just multiplied those two things together to give me my new exponent. That's E to the 0.24. And now to get P by itself and solve for P, I just need to divide 10,000 by E to the 0.24 power. Plug that into your calculator. You're going to get P equals this guy here. And when you round to two decimal places like they ask you to, you end up with P equals $7,866.28. So you didn't have to do any crazy uh, exponent things. There were no logs because we weren't solving for anything that was in this exponent. We were just solving for P all along. So plug in what you know, 
and then solve for what you don't know. And that's really all we're going to be doing in these types of questions.